Okay, I'm gonna quickly go over the run screen here with the Force America 6100. We've got the monitor right here, and then we've also got down here the 6100 spreader control panel. First, I'm gonna go over the run screen, just kind of show you what you're looking at. In the top left-hand corner, we have the material that we have selected, which currently we have the salt wet selected, which is gonna be 70% granular to 30% liquid. We have a 250 pound rate set per lane mile. And if we wanna change that down here on the control panel, we have our joystick. You can turn that to the right, or to the left, or counterclockwise and clockwise to change your rate. As you can see, I have the rates set for 50 pound increments from 200 to 400. Here where the standby is, again, this is our target rate. Our actual weight, uh, rate would be displayed here once we run, start running the machine. We have spreader left, spreader right. So this is our spread width right now, currently spreading five foot to the left and five foot to the right for a total of 10 foot. The exalt can spread 36 foot wide in total, but it always has to throw three foot on one side or the other. So I could bring the right side to three foot and then I'm gonna crank this left side all the way out to 33 foot and notice that it stops there. I can do anything in between. I can go out to the right. So again, 19 and 17 total of 36 foot. I'm going to bring them both back in to 5 foot for a 10 foot lane width. Down here we have two different rows, two different columns, and there's multiple pages for these. Notice that they match and mirror what you see down here on the control panel. If I want to activate alternate material or get into any one of these fields down here, I just hit the corresponding button down here on the control panel to do so. So we'll talk about alternate material first. Alternate material allows us to have two materials saved on the fly. Basically a primary and a secondary. Our primary one is this salt wet 7030 uh, material. Our alternate material, I'm going to go ahead and activate it, is salt dry only. In some instances you may run out of liquid first and if you do and you've got just a little bit of salt left in the box and you want to empty that out, all you do is hit your alternate material, it'll switch over to salt dry, which is 100% salt only. And then again, you set your rates just like you did before. Once you get back to the salt barn, you fill back up, put your brine back in, deactivate your alternate material, and it goes right back to your 7030. Liquid, when you're running your 7030, the green button here on your control panel, you push that to activate your conveyor, and you push your liquid button down here to activate your liquid. Make sure your liquid is green. Turn your conveyor off, you hit the green button again. Right now it's giving me a spinner shoot up warning, which means I don't have my shoot down, which I don't because we just did an unload. So. Next to that we have quick lane. Quick lane allows you to spread two lanes to the left, three lanes to the left, two lanes to the right, three, three uh, lanes to the right, however you want to set it up. Depends on what the route looks like. So if your route has the majority, the, or the majority of your route has turning lanes on the left hand side, you can set the quick lane up so when you come into those turning lanes, you can simply hit quick lane and the spinner is automatically going to shift it's going to increase spinner speed. We're going to increase our conveyor RPMs because we're covering multiple lanes now. So we want to make sure we're putting out more product to maintain our 200 pound rate per lane mile. So you can see we're doing 33 foot to the left and three foot to the right. That's how we have this quick lane set up. Once you get through that turning section or wherever you need to use the quick lane and you get back into your normal uh, driving route, turn it off and it'll go right back to where you had it set before which we had it at 10 foot. Lights, there's a beacon on the back of the exalt and a running light. Make sure those are on. Okay, your little joystick down here, if you bump it to the right, you go to another page. See, we have more options now. We have a manual mode, 
If you ever needed to run it manually, you can do that here. You can bump up your spinner rate. You can move your spinner position manually. We're gonna bump our joystick to the right again to get to another page. Unload function. Again, to unload it, if you wanna unload the granular, you go in here, bump your joystick to the right, hit your green start button or run button, and then turn your joystick to 100%. You can go lower than that. The lower you go, the slower the conveyor is gonna offload. I have it set to 100% because typically we wanna offload the spreader at the end of the shift or the end of the event, we wanna get it offloaded rather quickly. Remember, you're gonna to have to, when you're doing that unload, you're gonna to wanna to go back and raise the chute. So make sure the chute is in the up position and then make sure you change your gate from the low setting to the unload setting. So you're gonna to wanna to do that first before you go in here. Once that's done, go in here to the unload, hit your unload, and then drive it at 100% and you'll offload the product. We can go into data really quick. Click into data. If you want to clear any of your totals before an event, you can come down here, clear your totals. After the event, you can do a summary report, you can view it. And if you want, you can uh, transport it or export it to a USB. That's where you would do that. Calibration, that's kind of behind the scenes how we set the, the controller up. Really nothing in there as far as um, operators go that you really need to get into. This, this particular setup is already complete. However, material, you are gonna wanna get into that. This is where you set that alternate material. So right now, the primary material that we have selected again is material 7, which is the 7030, which is what you're primarily going to use. And the second one is material 9, and we have that set up for a salt dry only. If you want to change your secondary, just go in there and change it to one of the other materials that you have set up, which could be a, a straight liquid or maybe a straight sand. Bump it to the right one more time. Sim speed, if you ever want to do a demonstration or run the machine sitting still, the machine has to see ground speed in order to function. You can simply turn sim speed on and then bump your sim speed up and you'll see it right here bumping up. That way you're doing a simulated ground speed so that way if you want to, like I said, do a demonstration, the conveyor will run, the spinners will run, the liquid system will all run. When you want to turn it off, just hit your sim speed down zero and then it will automatically turn off. If you keep bumping your joystick all the way to the right, you get this utility function. You can then go up and you can change what is being displayed on the right hand side of your screen. I always want to see spinner RPM, liquid RPM, conveyor RPM, and ground speed. Those four should always be up there. That way you're, as an operator, you're making sure everything is functioning correctly. We do have sensors. We have a low liquid sensor. Obviously a spinner shoot up sensor. We have the conveyor sensor and a liquid sensor. So we're gonna we're gonna know and we're gonna get feedback if we're out of material as far as liquid and or dry. You'll get a warning up here where the standby is. It'll say one gallon remaining if you're running out of your brine. If you're out of salt or dry material, it's gonna say dry out in red and you'll see that. So And that is really just a quick run through of the monitor and what these functions do down here. Oh, one function I didn't mention is the blast on the, on the uh, blue side here. There's a blast function. If you hit the blast function, basically what that does is it increases your rate really uh, from your standard 200 pound setting to 700 pounds. So if you're going over through a uh, busy intersection and you want to put a little bit more product down or maybe over an overpass or something like that, you can hit blast. It's going to go to 700 pound rate per lane mile. And I have this one timed out. So it's going to run for 10 seconds and then automatically shut off. So the operator doesn't have to worry about turning it off. If you run it, want to run it longer than that, simply uh, put, push your blast again and it'll just continue to run. If you want to shut it off before the 10 seconds, push it again and it's gonna it's gonna turn off so that is it